Hey everybody, welcome back for another video about Ever Crisis. Go figure. Uh, today I want to go over uh, the character growth um, system here, and uh, things I want to discuss is primarily how to optimize and use it, especially as a free-to-play player, and then also want to go over the limit breaks um, because the limit breaks are part of the the stat stream and the growth system, um, and there's a way to properly get limit breaks and which ones I'm going to go over which ones to get and which ones you should just leave alone right so basically to start off with um, when it comes to the stat stream here uh, just kind of really basic rundown if you don't already know which you probably do already as you level up you're able to uh, get stats here for your character and you're you know you'll, you'll get things like healing healing HP magic attack and um physical attack those are going to be your and uh your four stats your physical and uh, magical defense won't go up ever and then you can also upgrade your limit breaks here so what i want to go over here is the best way to maximize your stat stream because you do require these things called memories which you'll probably probably already have a bunch or you've run out whatever it may be in your situation but you need these in order to get some extra stats so as you can see here for this node I have to use just to unlock it to get to these I have to use 20 cloud memories so because cloud is a physical attack unit primarily he really doesn't have anything magic based so you don't want to focus on him doing magic you pretty much want to avoid things like like the magic ones over here that are going to cost you memories they really don't give you an advantage and, and they're just not worth getting for the most part you know I, I have a level 70 cloud on my main account I've gotten I've gotten most of everything, but I, and some of these you can see I've skipped and that's because I need memories and I'm like, well, I'll just go for the ones that don't require memories, but I will 100% at this point now skip all of the ones that have magic that require memories. There's really no point for me to get them um, and that's that goes for Cloud, but that's not just for him, right? That applies for everybody. So let's look at a character like Aerith, right? Aerith is a character who primarily excels at magic and healing. So if I see a stat stream on the side over here that's, that requires me to get physical attack, you know, say, like this one's fine because it's one physical attack and then there's HP the rest of the way. So I would I would get that, right? That's, that's worth getting. But ones like this one where you're only getting one HP node and the rest are physical attack, that's something where you may want to just skip it. It's not worth getting. There's not as much value in it. Now, there are a few characters, though, where you kind of will get half and half. Um, there's not really too many of them, but they do exist. So I would say for Lucia and Matt and possibly Yuffie. Yuffie's still kind of in the in a new spot right now, so I can't really say. But those, those three right there, they will occasionally... You're going to kind of mix between magic and physical attack because of the way they're designed and the weapons they've gotten. Um... Red 13, I guess he's both, but nobody uses Red. He's unfortunately the worst character in the game, so you wouldn't use him. But if I was going to go over the characters and what I'd recommend getting, if you're going to leave, um, you, and you're, if you're going to leave like physical attack and magic or magic attack alone, you, um, the ones I would say is you want to go physical for Cloud, physical for Barret, physical for Tifa, magic for Aerith, Red 13's probably both. Uh, I think Red 13 leans more physical a tad. But, again, doesn't matter too much. He's mostly physical and single target, magical, and AoE. Because there's only AoE magical right now. Uh, Yuffie's kind of up in the air, really hard to say. Zack physical, uh, Sephiroth magic, Glenn physical, and then Matt and Lucia are kind of both. So realistically, as far as magic goes, it's pretty much just Sephiroth and, and Aerith. Who, who are primarily magical, like almost all the way through characters you i mean i guess tiva does have some magic things like her tiger fangs uh or there's she has a couple other weapons like chi trap that are technically magic but those are weapons that you're not going to be using you know the entire fight and so you're only going to use them when you need to use them in specific circumstances so that's why i would say that she's a physical character same thing with barrett barrett's pretty much physical he has a couple magic options but you're not going to use them much so that's what I would recommend for you guys if you're trying to optimize a stat stream because memories are not cheap, especially if you're free to play. You're not going to come across them very often. And if you do what I did uh, recommend in one of my other videos um, in terms of getting memories, when you do the the uh, premium quests, which I'll show you here because I still I haven't even done them yet. This is my new account that I just free free to play account that I just started. 
the let me find it here uh, enhancement and premium quest so when you go to premium quests i don't recommend ever doing these except for the very first clear right to get to get these um always get the memories because memories are limited you can farm the pods any other time in the game but memories you cannot so so definitely want to focus on that now i want to go over the limit breaks and i want to go over it for each character each character right now in the game has two limit breaks and in order to unlock the limit breaks, I'll show you, you do have to do specific things. So for instance, you get seal evil with Aerith. And in order to unlock seal evil, you have to use consume 300 stamina with Aerith in the party. Use Aerith's limit break 10 times. Deliver Aerith memories times 10. Uh, deliver 10,000 gil and deliver 30 units of low grade electrum. Now, later on, these 10,000 gil and 30 unit low grade electrum, those are, you'll have thousands of millions of it, really. So you really don't need to worry about that. Uh, Aeris memories, though, those are always going to, memories are generally always going to be in short supply. However, here's the thing. Seal evil and many other limit breaks, especially AOE ones, are not good. As far as right now, they're not good. And the reason why they're generally not good is for two reasons. One, we really have not had any big enemies where there's or boss fights where there's more than one that you want to have a, a non-elemental move to attack all enemies so that's number one number two is the the summons that you get generally f are going to be stronger than than your regular limit breaks that are not elemental and the reason why is because a lot of your weapons that you're going to have either in your sub slot or in your your equip hand they're going to be a matching element and they'll get a damage boost that the limit breaks won't get so again that's just going to be an increase in damage and the highest damaging summon moves anyway are aoe so it pretty much completely makes these aoe moves just not worth getting and so if you unlock these you're wasting some memory you're wasting memory here and then when you come up further and you have you know seal evil here again you're just you're wasting memories that you don't need to use so I'll go over the ones here that I would recommend getting, starting with Cloud. Say the ones, hey, yeah, these are worth upgrading. However, I would recommend don't upgrade them until you absolutely need to. Stats should be your priority because, like I said, you are going to get summons, and summons you can actually very easily grind for, especially if they when they bring them into co-ops, which is when, where I would recommend getting all your, your memories for summon memories, and you get other free weapons too, so that's where you want to maximize and do that. If you haven't already done, you might be a, a veteran, a day one player like me, and you've already gotten all you need. So, Cloud, um, completely skip. He has Blade Beam, and he has Cross Slash. I highly recommend you completely skip Blade Beam. Um, on my main account, I've only had one spot in the entire game where I used it, and it was because I didn't have the AoE summon yet. But it was a part in the game that I could have honestly just waited a couple weeks and cleared anyway, so it didn't benefit me that much. And I wasted a bunch of memories on Blade Beam that would be far more useful not doing it. So cross slash, solid weapon. You can get up to level t or attack or limit break solid uh, one. You can get up to level ten right now. So go ahead if you know if you have nothing else to spend memories on, and then you need that cross slash because you don't have the summon, or the enemy is resistant that you're something some event or something that you're trying to clear. They're resistant to an element, all elements. Go ahead and use cross slash and level it up to that way you can do more damage and make it stronger. So cross slash is good. Blade beam, complete skip. Uh, Barrett's kind of an interesting one. Barrett's cool. So Barrett has Grenade Bomb. So Grenade Bomb is exactly the same as Cross Slash. So again, use it in the same uh, same scenario. But he also has a move called Mind Blow. So Mind Blow does some solid damage, but it also decreases enemy defense and enemy physical defense for, um, for 15 seconds. So it doesn't last very long. It does, though, get up, uh, just up front gets to a high potency. So if you need an ability or a limit break, to you know lower an enemy's magic defense or physical defense the way to use this limit break would be to use it first and then the other limit breaks that follow will do extra damage because they'll be debuffed so mind blow is not a bad one either i'd argue for the most part mind blow might actually be more beneficial than grenade bomb because grenade bomb's going to be a very specific time you're going to use it um, whereas mind blow is going to be good a lot right a lot more and it, it does have some extra value to it while still dealing solid damage they're both about equal realistically um, but go ahead you can i would say you can upgrade both if you need them for specific cases um, and they're not ones that you should skip uh, coming in next uh, tifa tifa has some interesting ones here i really like hers so first off with tifa you have somersault it's exactly the same as mind blow but better and, and i'll tell you why it's better it it because mind blow 
it does more damage, but it's only about double the damage, but it takes twice as long to load up, which means you're missing out on an additional 15 seconds that Tifa is going to be able to apply with the limit break because she's going to be able to do it twice. So if you see the charge speed, she's at 800. The water kick, which is what we just saw Mind Blow was at, is at 1800, which means Somersault's going to take less than half the time to completely fill up and you can use it. So Somersault's great, doesn't do a lot of damage, but again, just like Mind Blow, you want to use it before you use your other limits, and then it's going to apply the physical defense down and magical defense down. The only drawback with this one in comparison to Mind Blow is it does max out at mid as of right now, but... For the most part, you're probably not gonna have the you're probably not gonna have the enemy at like a defense down or and magic defense down at the same time. So usually you're gonna use this, two other limits, follow it to deal extra damage. Especially if you have a summon that comes after it, it's fantastic damage. Um, the the follow up is water kick. Water kick's exactly like um, like a big bomber move or whatever it's called for a parrot. Uh, uh, and then also like cross slash for cloud. So you can use that if you need to to upgrade it. Um, these are both solid ones, not ones I would say skip, but uh, a somersault's always going to be useful. Even at level one, somersault's pretty much as good as it's always going to get. So you, you really don't need to level up somersault. It does get a little bit extra damage, but if, even I think mine's at level eight on my main account, and, and none of this except for the duration has increased. So it's it's not pivotal. You upgrade it right away. Um, Aerith, I kind of went over a little bit. Um, Healing Wind. Healing Wind is 100% the best limit break in the game right now. It has been for a while. Why? Look at it. It is a 600, at just base level 1, it is at a 667% uh, healing potency uh, for all characters. And it also applies a regen for 6 seconds. No, like, nothing else in the game does heals as well as this. And once you get it up to level 10, it'll heal 100% of your healing potency. So you go and throw in defense mode, you're going to heal big and you get big regen. Huge, I would say, level up healing wind as soon as you can. The value of it is too good, can't be passed up. Seal evil, garbage. It is, is just like, is just like Cloud's blade, uh, blade beam. It, it's not worth getting. I wouldn't waste the time on it. I do have it unlocked. Don't get it. It's not worth doing. Uh, so next we're going to move on to Red 13. Red 13 is kind of an interesting one. You'll probably never use most, most of these, to be honest. Uh, Sun Thing's okay. It's nice. It does lower enemy defense or physical attack and magic attack, I mean. But usually you're trying to do more damage and not less. And not just less than the amount of damage they do. Um, so usually, you know, Tifa is going to be better. But Red 13 is just the lowest tier character right now. So this... You know, you're really, you can really with Red 13, you can kind of do whatever you want if you just want to enjoy him. <laughs> it's, it, it's a really hard to say with him. Uh, Lunatic Highs is other one here. It does heal, uh, grants a, a magic heal for 4%. Why? I, I don't know. Do like 40%. I, I just don't get it. But physical defense is increased for all eyes. Mid, uh, uh, magic defense is increased for all eyes. I mean, that's cool, I guess. It's mid, but it only lasts 10 seconds. So it goes away really fast. Very rare you're going to use this. It's not bad, so if you are using red, I would actually say this is probably better than Sled Fang, but it's going to have very specific uses. And and you'll kind of figure that out as you're playing the game with certain enemies. You go, oh man, this enemy hits my entire team really hard. I need to protect against him. This is a, and, and you have a limit break to use. This is the type of one you might want to go with if you're using red 13. So Lunatic High is not too bad. Yuffie is pretty solid, so Bloodfest, pretty much the same deal as, as Cross Slash and, and Water Kick and all that. 1,000 up front, it's just pure damage. Same kind of deal with that guy. Clear Tranquil is a really cool one. Now this now this is a pretty good one. Um, Clear Tranquil, again, physical attack is increased, magic attack increased. That's pretty good. So you're getting magic attack for the whole party, physical attack for the whole party. You get a little bit of regen for the whole party. And you're getting a magic heal at 30%. This is just all around a better version of... Uh, of of like sort of like red 13s but it's for a phys it's for attack aggressive versus being defensive right so clear tranquil is actually pretty good um we're kind of yet to see it it really get its full value yet because there really hasn't been yuffie hasn't been along out long enough for really uh, for us to to mess with her and and i um, there's probably gonna be a dungeon ranking coming up here soon uh, after this you know probably within the week of this video being made and and there's probably gonna find more use for clear tranquil there but as it says right now clear tranquil i'd say is, is really good and that's a solid one uh zach is in the same exact situation as cloud you have slash combo basic upgrade it when you need to otherwise stick to your summons uh meter shots stay the hell away from it it's terrible it's an aoe and your summons are just going to be a better aoe in general so uh, Sephiroth, Sephiroth's an interesting one. So he has Astral Gate. Astral Gate's similar to like all the other ones that are just single target, big damage. 
But then you have Ardent Flare. So Ardent Flare is kind of interesting. I I'm personally not a big fan of it because of how long the uh, uh, the uh, buff lasts. So 640 damage, but then you also gain a physical attack increase and a magic attack increase. So, I mean, it is nice because you get these attack increases, but they don't last very long. And here's the problem. Because, of, because they only give you two stacks and they only last for 15 seconds, the amount of extra damage you would get from applying that versus just using Astral Gate, you actually lose damage. So if you were going to do anything, Astral Gate's the one to pick. Ardent Flare as, it's, as it is right now is not, it's actually not good. It's not as good as Astral Gate because the way buffs work in the game and the amount of, uh, the amount of damage you lose, which is 360%, you're not going to gain that up from the buff. Right, so so using Astral Gate is just going to be a better option. So if you were to upgrade these, upgrade Astral Gate after you know the same situation with with Cloud and the others. Uh, Glenn, Glenn's kind of in a in a similar situation here. So you got Blazing Onslaught, physical attack, or I mean sorry, just a single target attack there, and then you got Stage of Defeat, same situation. I haven't even unlocked this one because by the time I started really messing with Glenn, I was like this move is going to be trash because it's bad on the other character, so it's bad here. So don't touch stage to his feet. Leave it locked for now. You know, it just let it cook, right? Maybe, maybe the devs will make this AOE stuff better. But as it stands, it's not useful. Don't get it. Next up is uh, is Matt. Matt has Valiant Charge, basic, uh, basic physical. I mean, basic physical, basic attack uh, again. So one thousand. Probably, the, unfortunately, Matt probably has like the worst looking limit break in the entire game. Uh, and then Gigantic Shield. So Gigantic Shields. The same exact thing as the red 13 lunatic high that we saw earlier. You get a little bit of magic heal. You get physical defense um, in magic defense. So if you are using Matt because Matt does have better options than red 13 does, this would probably be the one to go for would be gigantic shield. You can honestly have it level one and it gets good value. So you don't even need to upgrade it, but unlocking it wouldn't be a bad idea. And then last but not least, Lucia. So Lucia, you've got Queen's Shot. So again, single target, big damage. And then you have Cerulean Raven. So Cerulean Raven's exactly the same as Sephiroth's um, flare move. Probably not going to use it. It's really not worth the value here. So skip on Cerulean Raven. I would just leave it locked until they maybe make it better or something like that. But as it stands, it's not that good. And you're better off just using Queen Shot for the extra damage. And that pretty much covers everything for growth. Um, you know, so, so characters, if you're not using them as magic, don't don't grab the magic uh, nodes here, especially if they're locked. If they're unlocked, go ahead and grab them. That's fine. But if there are if they are locked, skip them. Like I like you've seen here with Lucia, I'm just I'm completely skipped it. I'm, I have not grabbed it, and I've done that with some other characters along the way as well. So I thank you guys for watching, and uh, keep rocking. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.